Jada is back at it here to give everyone another Walking Dead season 11 episode review video. Before I get into that, though, pretty important. I was able to watch this episode early on AMC Plus. The episode doesn't air on regular AMC until next Sunday, August 29th. So if you're not caught up to the point where I am in rewatching or watching The Walking Dead, or you're just not entirely sure, then you should probably take the initiative and pay attention to the episode's title, which of course. I will say for you, as well as put in the description for you, if that's the case, if you're not caught up, it would be my recommendation, whether you follow it or not, I don't know, that you don't watch this video any further, just to stay away from spoilers. Make sure you smash the like button, hit that sub button, and this will be The Walking Dead, Season 11, Episode Number 2. The title of this episode is called Acheron Part 2. This is going to be my review reaction recap after just finishing watching the episode and I took lots of notes so be prepared. So it appears that Maggie is done in by the walkers kind of resembles how Glenn got done in or we thought Glenn got done in in season six episode number three. Thank you. Uh, everyone gets into the subway car. Alden asks Negan where's Maggie. Negan says that she was right behind him. Of course he's lying. Humiko and Princess uh, demand to speak to the Commonwealth soldier's manager or supervisor in a funny kind of thing because Ezekiel is missing and they want to get to the bottom of it. Daryl finds Dog and then Dog runs off again. Bad Dog. <laughs> uh, Humiko tells, uh, or I should say Humiko talks to the auditors and uh, she reiterates that she was a lawyer and demands that her and her friends, Ezekiel, Eugene, and Princess, get processing. Uh, someone is sending an SOS from under the subway car. Gee, what a surprise. It's Maggie as she survived, which I didn't think there was a chance that she would die at all. Maggie, imme Maggie immediately hits Negan in the face with a gun. She says, I slipped, I saw, and he left me to die. Negan says... Yeah, so what? And then Alden says, you tried to kill her. Negan says, no, she was in trouble and I didn't try to help. There is a big difference. And then M Negan mentions that Maggie was just talking to him about murdering him sooner rather than later. Yet somehow I'm the big old asshole because I didn't ask or I didn't risk my nuts for her. And then he says, uh, he's been a golden goddamn asset for every single one of them. And then Alden says, uh, you burnt Hilltop. And Negan says, he killed Alpha, so their skull wouldn't be on a spike. Pretty funny dialogue by Negan. It's always funny with Negan. Gage shows up, trapped in the other side of the subway car. Negan says to Duncan, hey, Sasquatch, give me a hand to try to help Gage. And then Maggie actually refuses to let anyone help Gage as Alden really wants to help him as she doesn't want the walkers to get in um, get in their, their, their uh, subway car and because they don't have the ammo to fight them off. Gabriel says, let it go to Alden, like, leave, don't, don't help him, let him go. And then Gage, because the walkers are getting close behind him, uh, stabs himself in the heart a few times with a knife. As he dies, the walkers come up behind him and start biting him. Eugene is starting to panic as no one has come back yet, talking about Humiko. And Negan starts to freak out a little due to the bad memories he has. I think being trapped in that one trailer at the sanctuary. Maybe not. Uh, Gage has turned into a walker. Maggie tells a story about her and Herschel being alone before they met up with Elijah's group. Daryl finds Roy. Dog attacks a walker. Daryl kills the walker that dog attacked. Roy says he lost the ammo bag. And then Roy gives Daryl a grenade and says, don't say it die like a bitch, but he doesn't actually die then, but more on that later. Walkers are about to get through the subway car and uh, they do, and then uh, Gabriel shoots Ga Walker Gage in the head, and then Walker st start to come up from the other side. Maggie hands Negan a gun, and they kind of have this very short moment of embrace, and then Negan goes to help 
Duncan, a.k.a. Sasquatch. Daryl is behind the walkers on the other side, and then Daryl starts moving forward while shooting the walkers with a gun. Uh, just really cool scene with him just moving forward, shooting like seven or eight walkers. And then when the gun runs out of ammo, he uses his knives to start killing the rest of the walkers. Uh, then Daryl removes the seat that's blocking the that door from opening. So they're all able to get out. And then Daryl puts the grenade that Roy gave him in the mouth of one of the walkers and slams the door shut. It explodes and kills all the walkers coming towards them from that particular train car that or the subway car that they were just in. And then Eugene talks to you, Mercer and the guy auditor. He shares the story of meeting Stephanie on the radio or talking to Stephanie on the radio. Eugene says that he doesn't do well with relationships and that he is in fact a virgin, no surprise there. And then he was hoping that Stephanie would uh, be the one to change his status regarding that. And then Eugene is taken to where Princess Ezekiel and Humiko are all at, which looked like some kind of trailer or subway car as well, maybe a train car, something like that. I'm not sure exactly what it was. And of course, they're all being processed, which is awesome. And then Ezekiel says he was taken to an infirmary where they helped him with his cough, and he actually slept really good. And then Mercer shows up. He says they've all been... Uh, okay to be processed, like I mentioned, uh, into the Commonwealth. And then he also tells Ezekiel that he went to mess, he went to West Point, asshole. And then a female enters after his uh, Mercer pounds on the door and asks which one of them was you is Eugene, which there's only Ezekiel and uh, Eugene there. So, I mean, process of elimination. And then she says that she is Stephanie, which we all know she's really not Stephanie. And then Negan, when they're all out of like the subway tunnel, Negan gives uh, the gun back to Maggie and he like doesn't let go of it right away and they just kind of look at each other. And then Maggie says they need to go to Arbor Hills as kind of a detour as Georgie set up a hidden supply depot there. And in case uh, anyone got into trouble, which Georgie, of course, was only seen in season eight, episode number 12, titled The Key her and her two associates and we haven't seen Georgie since but they randomly mention her a bunch of times and then of course uh, tour guide Negan uh, knows exactly where that is and then they come across a bunch of bodies hung upside down and Negan says that uh, this place has gone to shit since he was uh, last there and then all of a sudden Roy is shot with I believe an arrow in the head and then a bunch of arrows come towards them and then somebody throws some kind of knife weapon into Cole's quad uh, which probably hurts fast so they start to retreat and hide behind trees and then the episode ends with we get the shot that was in the trailer with all I presume the Reapers walking together coming towards them and that is how things end. So pretty, it was a slower episode with a less funny parts in my opinion, but it really got crazy at the end of the episode uh, when the Reapers, I presume, are coming towards them. So awesome stuff. Kind of a hard decision for character of the episode because always, I always liked Negan. Maggie was pretty good and Daryl had his moments in this episode. So Character of the episode, well, first of all, I'm going to score the episode a 9.5. I'm going to give it the same score as the last one, because these are two really good episodes, even though they're kind of one episode, and Daryl is going to be the character of the episode. I almost gave it to Maggie, but the the scene where Daryl is coming towards the walkers with a gun, just shooting them and shooting them and shooting them, and then the scene with uh, him just cutting them up with knives, and then moving that uh, the, the seat from the door, awesome stuff to buy Daryl. So... I liked it. I'm really looking forward to next week's episode. Uh, it's going to be crazy. So you've, of course, heard what I have to say. Now it's your turn. As I say in every video, uh, if you're a fan of The Walking Dead, are excited for this final season. Not happy that the season or the series is ending, but are super excited for what we saw in the trailer um, or the sneak peek for next week's episode. Make sure you smash that like button. If you know anybody that would be interested in this review, go ahead and share the video with them. Don't forget to sound off in the comments section about your thoughts, your score of the episode, your character of the episode, anything that you want to add, 
Or you can just talk to me about your favorite episodes of The Walking Dead, favorite characters, theories for the final season of The Walking Dead. What's going to happen with Rick? Will he show up in this uh, final season? Or will we just see him in the Rick movies? If there's going to be any Rick movies, leave all that stuff in the comment section. Of course, last but certainly not least, don't forget to hit that sub button. Subscribe to the channel. Definitely want to grow this channel. Join the team. Show your damn support. And be a part of something special. And J-Dev will return.